made it to Texas. So crazy, I cannot believe we're in Texas. Miami to New Orleans. New Orleans to Houston, Houston to San Antonio. I need to look up where Bucky's was made. Was it made in Texas? was uh, Miami to New Orleans, New Orleans to Houston, and then Houston to San Antonio. With that, the only tips that I have so far with traveling is definitely have a person that knows what they're doing. I didn't even know about if the hotel had enough parking space for the trailer. I don't know how to park it, the turning, um, all of that takes a lot of mental work, which Lucas did all of that. The second part is safety. If you're female, it doesn't matter if you're in and out of uniform, you are a target. So you want to make sure that you're traveling with someone, that you're planning ahead about where you're going to stay and always pick, in my opinion, a big city where there's lots of tours, where there's lots of people. Imagine if I was traveling by myself, like I'm a female, female of color, um, with a trailer with a portion of back and a huge box truck. Like, them people will have a great time with me low-key. That would be... Okay, anyways, that's basically our updates. Do you have any updates? No, no, we need to go eat now. He's very hungry. My man can have whatever you want today because he's the one who did all the driving and parking. We're super tired and I want tonight to feel like a movie. So I'm going to go roam the streets of New Orleans with my man, y'all. So that's what we're going to go do. All right, let's go eat. You hungry? Yes. Oh my God. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> right now but y'all have seen me in my ROTC days are we not used to this yet I'm gonna go get dressed now so I don't have to keep talking to y'all like like this okay I did really want to explore today but I was like no that's not what we're here for because y'all know I love traveling so I convinced Lucas for us to go get some breakfast he wasn't there for lunch but I think I might be able to get him to do lunch too so yesterday we talked a little bit about the traveling tips and things of that sort today we're gonna talk about budget there's a few reasons why I want to talk to you about budgeting and why it matters on this trip number one you're probably gonna be broke for a little bit after you commission and I kind of touched on this a little bit in my TikTok videos and things but I'm just gonna do a little recap so 
once you commission, you are technically reserves. You're not active duty status yet. And so because of that, you are not getting paid and uh, you probably want to find a job because you're not getting paid. So you usually commission around May area and they're trying to push everyone out or make them active duty status around September. Mine was in July, but it could be literally from May to September where you're not getting paid. And that's why I say you're going to be broke. And the reason you don't want to be broke is because when you move, you have to move yourself and that's a lot of upfront cost. The Air Force does reimburse you, but reimbursement insinuates that you have that money to spend in the first place. So you want to make sure you have either the debit or the credit to spend for your first move. So the reason why you don't want to do a home goods move all the time is because when you first commission, you're a recent college graduate, you probably don't have that much stuff, so it's kind of awkward to have all these big strong movers come into your house and move like one room. It's just not really worth it. Two is because you're not necessarily in the Air Force, like the big Air Force network yet. So regardless whether you like it or not, you're more than likely gonna have to do a Diddy move or do it yourself move anyways. So with that, you kind of have to stop and think about it. Like I'm not getting my stipend from ROTC anymore. I'm not getting a salary for my career. It's gonna take me some time to move. And then when I do move, it's gonna be on my dime at first. Yeah, you're probably gonna wanna save up. You did get paid for the mileage, you get paid for the gas, and then you get a per diem, which is a set of money that you get for each day. If you go over that then you just make up the difference and if you go below that then that's actually money that you can pocket my next video is probably going to be showing you how much I got reimbursed and how much I actually spent I can't do that now because obviously I'm not there and I'm not getting my money back until I report into my duty station so that's going to be for next time that's it that I have for right now so we're going to go ahead and get some breakfast continue on the road trip and get to San Antonio <laughs> specifically you want to make sure that these ratchet straps are tight keeps the car in place check both sides obviously you want to make sure your safety pins are all good too obviously you want to check your tires make sure they're not flat or anything like that then when you come up here you want to make sure that like the hitch and all that is good and then the safety cables are attached correctly you know your lights are plugged in that's basically it Thank you. That's Cars with Lucas. It's time to head to Houston, y'all. We out. So crazy, I cannot believe we're in Texas. We decided to stop up Bucky's. I ain't never been to Bucky's. I know a lot of people always talk about how great Bucky's is, but we're here, we're gonna give it a little try. But this place is huge. Let's go inside. Why is this place like a bakery? It's like a Walmart. Yeah, got clothes. A whole thing dedicated to jerky. This is too much, y'all. And it's like a home goods. Why? I need to look up where Bucky's was made. Was it made in Texas? Cause that would make a lot more sense. Go big or go home. I was gonna get a chicken wrap, but since we're here, I'm gonna get like a brisket sandwich. Cause why not? Where else am I gonna get a brisket sandwich in a gas station? Mm. They're pretty good. And this is what a brisket sandwich tastes like at a gas station. I'm ready to see what Texas got in the restaurants.
Texas. We're close to San Antonio, but not quite, but we did almost make it y'all. It's kind of crazy because like yesterday I was in Florida and today I'm in Texas. I'm about to be in Texas for a long time. I don't know how I feel about that. It's just wild. Honestly, I thought I was gonna be more nervous than what I am, but I feel like just by being here, I'm pretty calm like I'm at peace with what's to come I'm at peace that I'm moving here I don't know it just feels it feels okay it feels right I feel calm that's all I can say I mean, I'm super tired right now but the nervousness the butterflies like it all just went away I'm just so excited to start like I really am I'm, I'm I don't want to say I'm nervous I just I'm excited to start and that's the only word that I can use right now and I'm glad that now I'm more excited than I am nervous because literally the night before leaving I couldn't sleep at all I was just so restless it didn't hit me until the night before that I was gonna leave and not be coming back to Florida for a really long time so yeah that night was just not a good night but these past couple of nights I don't know if it's because I've been tired because I come to terms with it but these nights have been hit the sleep has been hit I'm excited for tonight's sleep because I'm honestly super exhausted right now and this hotel room is a little ghetto I'm not even gonna lie so I'm waiting for it to cool down because it's hot and then take a shower go to sleep and see my new apartment hopefully it's given what the pictures were given they are kind of newish apartments so that's good to know because you know nothing's broken I've been used Anyways, I'm just talking, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower, go to bed now, and check in with you all tomorrow. Good night, y'all.